I think it can be very helpful for us. I think it would also be time saving for the judges to have a little, um, little cheat sheet on an individual before you start the risk assessment. And those things are important to know, ties to the community, whether that individual is working, whether they have had lots of warrants in the past, uh, a criminal conviction history. Those are the things we look at when setting a bond. Um, but in the rapid pace of court, um, it, it goes pretty quickly. So you're scanning a rap sheet, you're, you're, you're asking quick questions, do you work? Whereas if this person's doing it before, you know, you can kind of take a deep breath and, and assess it and look at it and, and make a really good decision. We do our very best right now, um, but I do think that would be helpful to us. I can't see how it would hurt. So having that extra information you think would be of assistance to you? Absolutely. Do, have you talked to colleagues over there in criminal court? Or are they finding that these assessments are helping them? I have to say I have not. Okay. I've not asked them. Um, I guess I've just generally heard that the word has it that it's, it's a good thing. And you know, as a judge, you, at the end of the day, you have to make the decision. You may go against the recommendation of the, the uh, pretrial screening, but most times I think if it's accurate information, it's leading you down the right path to set that bond in the right way.